Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Robbie Fishing. Today I'm going fishing at the Freeway Dam. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Alright folks, if there's a fair bit of background noise, well that's because I'm fishing next to the Hume Freeway and an exit ramp behind me, so there's going to be a lot of noise. But today I'm fishing at the Freeway Dam here. I've got two rods. This rod's got a running sinker rig with some corn. That rod's got a Pat Noster rig with some Janjuk worms. The reason I've decided to come here fishing today, I was thinking will I, won't I, will I, won't I. It's only about 10 degrees, it's a very cold day and I don't think my chances of catching a fish are very high. But anyway, I was at home this morning doing some computer work and I was working on some of my videos that I've got coming out during the winter months from my From the Vault series and I came across one coming out in about mid-winter that I filmed here back in the summer. I came out here yabbying. I'm not going to tell you whether I caught any yabbies, you'll have to watch my video it is part of my From the Vault series in this dam here to see how I went. But I saw the video and I thought, you know what, I think I will go fishing. I'll go out there and wet a line for a while, see if there's any finned fish out here. Just had a nibble. There it goes. Something's definitely playing with that. Something's I just had my first nibble. I've been here about oh, 45 minutes, I suppose. Stopped. Well, that's a sign. There's some stuff that I'm still playing with it. I missed it. If I've got something on here, it's bloody small. I have got something on here, you know. Well, oh, there was something hanging onto that there then. There was a really small fish just hanging onto that then. I thought there was something small on it as I was bringing it up. It was look, look like a really small fish about two inches long just hanging onto the bait. <laughs> now that's a start. Getting a nibble here on my worms again. Right now I've had two nibbles on the worms, albeit very small nibbles, and haven't had a touch on the corn, so I'm gonna go the double worm. Now I have worms on each rod. One with a running sinker, one with a pat monster egg. Just getting a bit of a Bit of, there it goes, something's playing with worms on the rod on the right here. Been here an hour and a half, I've had a couple of little nibbles. And I've lost that real small fish before. Something's still playing with it there. At this point in time, I've got no way of knowing whether that's a, a fish two inches long or a fish 100 centimetres long. Whatever it is, there's definitely a bit of action down there. I might just grab my line, just pull it forward a few inches like that, just to make it move a little bit. Sometimes if the bait just moves a bit, that can attract their attention and stimulate a nibble. Getting a nibble on the other rod now, that makes me happy. Oops, I bumped it with my foot then, but... I think with smaller fish like this and real finicky bites, I'd rather... I'd rather get the bite, here it goes again, I'd rather get the bite on the running sinker rig. I just think it's a better rig when the fish aren't really hitting it all that hard. And he's, he's got him. Finally. It's not a monster, but it's not tiny either. What have I got? A little carpio, I'm guessing. A very pale carp, anyway. That's a bloody red fin. Would you look at that, eh? That's a very pale red fin. <laughs> He's got the hook a bit deep. Can I get that out? That's almost big enough to get a fillet off, that is. I can get it out. I think I can get it out. I think I can get it out. Maybe I can get it out. Maybe I better just break the line. Have a look at how pale this red fin is. I'm going to get a quick photo of old pale rider. Pale red fin. See you later, mate. Right, I'll put a new hook on. 
and a couple of fresh Janjuk worms and I'll throw my line straight back out where it was. That red fin was a very pale colour, but that's to be expected in uh, sandy coloured water like this. When you catch yellow belly or golden perch in sandy coloured water like this, they're often really silver with a white belly, as opposed to a deep dark green with a golden belly in clear water. Fish often change their colours, or not so much change their colours, but they get really vibrant colours in clear water and very pale colours in dirty water, in sandy coloured water like this. Anyway, one redfin is better than no redfin, and I've got to admit it wasn't a tiddler, it wasn't too bad a redfin either. Got it, oh bugger. Just had a really good bite on the worms here. On the pattern oster rig, oh it scun all me worms too. That was a good bite, I wouldn't mind betting that was a big old carp, which is sort of what I was expecting to catch here. That was a good bite. I'll get a couple of fresh worms on, and I'll get it straight back out, there's not a second to lose. <laughs> now I felt a little bit of weight there then when I set the hook, so it may or may not come back that fish. Hopefully it does. That was a good bite that, that was, the other bite was just a real slow sort of sucking in of the bait. This was a really hard hit. It's nine degrees with a, a bit of a breeze blowing through, it's bloody freezing. So I'm sitting here with my arms wrapped up inside my sleeves. Which is why I was a little bit slow on the uh, on the record button on the camera and <laughs> to set the hook there then. Just had quite a big bite on this rod here. Come on. I can't see the line. It's getting too dark. Something playing with that there. I can just see the line. Something's playing with it. Something playing with it. And got him. Yes, I'm on. There's another red fin the same size as the other. It's more of a carpy bite. No, definitely another red fin. It's a bigger red fin than the last one, actually. Look how pale it is. Wow, I'll get a quick photo, then I'll release it. Righto, red fin number two. Off you go. Right now, I came here carp fishing two hours and two redfin later I've got about 15 minutes or 20 minutes of daylight left Can I get one more fish? Can I catch the elusive carp? <laughs> two redfin and no carp, that's a good result especially considering it's the middle of June Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so